Oh my gosh, hi crafty friends. I have the Archer and Olive Spring subscription box to share with you today. Um, as you can see, I started to open it and I was like, this is too dang cute. I must share. So um, yeah, Archer and Olive, they do a quarterly subscription kit and I think it's well worth the price and they seem to just keep getting better and better. Um, they are 75 American US dollars plus shipping, which I mean, like it's pretty heavy. Um, I think shipping is like $15 and then I think there is tax. I, I think for me, it ends up being almost a hundred dollars at the end of the day. Um, but again, this shit is so good. Okay, so anyways, the theme for this season is like a picnic or something. Um, I have not seen anything of what's inside. I did open this. And yeah, anyways, okay. So also, isn't the box just so pretty? I totally reuse these boxes to like send happy mail or gifts or whatever. Um, anyways, gather your blanket and pack your favorite lunch. Bring your supplies to a special spot that brings you happiness as we enjoy a charming picnic so cute and this month there was a little extra to nibble on I imagine it just didn't fit in the box I don't know um it's washi tape and also it's the middle of the night right now um get away here no that made it worse oh my god I should have just left it okay we're just leaving it oh my gosh so I think this is like actually the best thing ever I have been absolutely loving positive affirmations and the fact that this came with little affirmation cards I just I die okay let's go through them real quick so it says your future looks bright my mind is free to go wild and they're just these gorgeous the feel they have that kind of like soft matte touch feel too so cute I am a visual storyteller my art is authentic to me I am confident in my self-expression. Every day, I improve my creativity. My imagination knows no bounds. Creative energy runs through me. My art speaks to those who need it. I approve of my art. Through my art, I inspire others. Oh my goodness, the little strawberry edges. These are just so cute. And I think I did have a little guidance, like, oh, which card did you need to read today? Oh, girl, I needed to read them all today. So cute. So positive. Absolutely love it. Okay, and then this washi tape. Was this collaborated with somebody? No, I don't think so. Um, I think they have, like, I know they've collaborated with Simply Gilded before. Um, oh, look at these little, uh, I almost said butterflies. No, ladybugs. I actually have a pen pal in particular that loves ladybugs. So I'm definitely, I'll probably, I'm going to send her a swatch of it for sure. Um, I'll wind it around a little card, but yeah. And I'll probably decorate a letter with, with some of this cute ladybug. Let's open it. Very nice. Easy pull. It has a very, um, I would say like a pretty waxy feel for a washi tape, which I don't mind. Just something to note it's a waxy feel Let's see if it sticks well yeah seems to okay I don't think I want to pull that one out because you know it's pretty standard it looks like a little picnic blanket cute little like scallop trim I actually kind of like it this way I think I would put it at the bottom of something or maybe bottom and top that'd be cute and then these little strawberries. Okay, and I also have a friend, uh, a pen pal, who has become a dear friend of mine that um, strawberries are her favorite fruit. And I actually sent her like a strawberry themed birthday package. Um, anyways, so yeah, I'll definitely send her a little swatch of this. Ah, oh, cute, cute, cute. Okay, now on to the box. Um, I have unboxed I think one other time, an Archer and Olive subscription. Um, I think I did like the fall box. Oh my goodness. I did get the winter box, but I didn't unbox it with you guys. It was gorgeous. Okay, where do we begin? Okay, ooh, okay. There's a set of the, I'm, 
Calliograph, whatever, um, pens. Oh, that is a nice set of colors. I think there's, there's like always pens. I don't know if they're always these ones, but there's always pens. Okay, we'll swatch these in a minute. Okay, oh Lord. I think I'm just gonna take everything out of this box because now it's gonna be way. Okay. Maybe I'll go like one at a time. I'll, I'll dip into the box from the side. Okay, what do we have here? <gasps> this is one of the journals, handcrafted journals. Something. I think so, yeah. Oh, 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 dot grid notebook. Let's open it up and see. Okay, this is a small one, which does it say the size? Usually they have some kind of, you know, like, oh, it's an A5, it's a B5, it's a whatever. I don't know what size this is. Um, okay, that's fine. Oh, it's so dainty. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do with this tiny, oh, and it still comes with a pen loop, this tiny little notebook. Oh, my goodness. It's very, like, vintage feeling to me, these colors. with This kind of looks like old school um, wallpaper to me. Oh, it's gilded on the inside. Wow, what a beautiful touch. Oh, I love that. And it's dot grid, which is absolutely my favorite. I love the dot grid. And it's not, um, these are, this is not a bright white. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a creamy off-white kind of. Oh, I love it. And then, yep, it does have the cute little pocket in the back. <gasps> okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Oh, wait. Hmm. No, it's kind of small. Um, I was hoping to make one of these because I, I think there's I think there's always two journals. I was hoping to make one of them a gratitude journal. Um, anyways, maybe it'll be this. This is a little small, um, so I might use the other one. We'll see. Because I I have a lot to write. I have a lot that I'm grateful for. Okay, on to the next set of two storage crates. Okay, portable, stackable, and collapsible. Okay. Oh, they're like plastic. Okay. Okay. Okay, literally like a little crate. <gasps> like a little milk crate. Oh. Oh my God, I love a good storage solution. Look at that. <gasps> okay, cute. That'll totally have a place on my desk. Okay. I like that. Cute colors. Oh, yeah. Dang, I wonder, I wonder if they like sell these independently or if you can buy them independently because I don't know, like you could really, you could really, oh yeah, yeah, because even like, you could really like stack something up here. You know what I mean? Oh yes. See these little, these little, the details. Oh my God, I love the details. These little, you know, dingly donglies, the little dowel right here makes it like click right in there okay yeah this like yeah I could go for more of these honestly love it okay <laughs> excellent okay let's oh, oh, okay. <gasps> set of wooden icon stamps okay I'm gonna rip the box. Come on. Ooh, wooden indie. Oh my god! And it comes, it comes in a box. I can't even. I fucking love it because, like, as pretty as this 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 paper box is, like, I don't want to store my things in this box. <gasps> it comes with an actual box. Oh my god! Oh, and it even fits the ink in there. <gasps> this is incredible. Oh my goodness, the rubber stamps that, of course, match the theme and match the the washi tapes and stuff. Okay, they're really nice feeling too. Okay, and this box, this is everything. Oh my god, I love. Like, I think everything should come with something. You know what I mean? Like, it should come with a storage box when you buy a set of something. Okay, it looks like this is a grayish color. We'll get back to that. Okay, that's so exciting. Okay, uh, tiny picnic in a box. Oh, set of die cut stickers. Okay, that sounds really cute. Oh, oh, it really is a little picnic basket. Stop it. What? Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
my goodness. Okay, well, we don't need the, the desiccant. This is so cute. They put it in a picnic box. Okay. <laughs> this, like, kind of picnic y tissue paper. Whoops. Okay, whatever. What do we have here? Like a little, I don't know, a little cocktail, a little mint julep or something. A little charcuterie board. These are kind of, um, they are kind of papery feeling. Again, not bad. Just, just describing how the, the texture is. Oh, wait, but this one's peeling up. Well, okay, we'll get there in a minute. Picture of, okay, I always say picture, like a, instead of picture. It's a picture. Okay. Like, I get the two opposite of each other. <laughs> like, I call pictures pictures, and I call pictures pictures. Oh, my God. Whatever. We have a picture of strawberry lemonade. Oh, I love this one. The little ladybug. Okay. And then a basket full of strawberries. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, this one was already starting to peel up. So let's see. Oh, it looks like it's actually like a washy kind of sticker. Like it's a little bit, it's a little bit transparent. Oh my God, tell me I wasn't out of frame the whole time. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, it's a little bit transparent. Okay. Cute. So darling. I gotta say, I was not expecting the muted colors. I really did think it was gonna be a little bit more bright. Um, but I think I'm okay with it. I do tend to be like a bright, you know, I'm a Leo. Bring on the sunshine and the bright. Um, but maybe this is speaking to my Libra side. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, wait. We can just put it in the. In the, okay, we'll put it this way in the storage bin. Okay, now we have the journal. See this? Oh my lord! Doesn't say what size this one is either, but it's huge. My goodness! And solar scrap paper. Wait to open. Please see more information on the back. Okay. Please do not open until you are ready to use. Oh. Oh, it's, it's actual solar paper. Oh my God. I haven't used this shit since I was a kid, like doing some kind of art and craft. Like my mom was the best. We did so many crafts growing up. Um, hence like my love for all of the shit. Okay. Gather your items, arrange them on a piece of solar paper out of reach of the sun. Okay. Yeah. So it's like developing a piece of film, um, place in a, okay. So cool. All of these instructions, what you do is you, you put your stuff like on the piece of paper, like, like a dried flower or like, okay, cool. We, the pen, you know, um, yo, you've probably done this at, um, uh, oh my God, not aquariums. Um, the one where you look at the stars and they're round. Oh my God. What is that called? Planetarium. <laughs> When you go to the planetarium, um, and they have the, they have them, the room where like, oh, the whole wall is like this, where you go and you stand. Um, but I think maybe they're different because you do it in the dark or something. I don't know, whatever you turn the light on, um, really bright. And you like, you like strike a pose up against the wall and you don't move. And then I think they turn the light off and then you step away and you can like see your outline on the wall. This is like exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, so you put your stuff on top of the paper and you like go let it sit. Yeah, let it sit in direct sunlight for two to five minutes, and then you place it in a water bath for one to five minutes, and then you let it dry. And then you have like, you know what I mean? You have like the negative impression of like all the things that you had sitting on the paper. <gasps> so cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm really excited to use this. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the paper once I'm done with it. But something. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. And then the last journal. Here we go. I am woman. I am Venus. I am sexy. I am free. That just came in and I had to sing it. Oh my God. <gasps> This is like a vegan leather situation with like embroidered ladybug. Oh my god. Ladybug strawberry plant. Okay, I think this is gonna be my gratitude journal. 
Like, why not have a big boy for gratitude? Oh my goodness. Oh yes. I'm a very tactile person. I like to feel things. We're gonna, oops. Look at that. Again, your pen loop. It always has the pen loop. No! Ah, it has the gilding on the inside again. And of course, it's dot grid. Okay, you know what? I am totally gonna use this in my gratitude journal because um I I'm like re like starting a new practice kind of a thing. And um honestly, like there's like quite a lot to write down. <laughs> so here we go. This will be perfect. Okay, I'm so stoked about this. Yes. Oh my goodness. And of course it has the cute little ampersand um bookmark. Okay, okay. Well, this is exciting. Okay, let's do a little pen swatch with these bad boys. Um, I think I'm just gonna do it like right down here. Right down here, I'm not gonna care, it's fine. This journal is meant to be used. I do have that problem. Um, and I really have had that problem with some past art journal all of subscriptions where I'm like, it's so beautiful, it's so curated, I can't like mess it up. I can't, you know what I mean? Um, and so then I end up just like not using it. What is that about? No, 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 no. I buy it to use it. Do not fear it. Okay. Ooh, that's a pretty green. Okay, I rub it. Let's see. You can see it. And if you've never seen these before, um, one side is the, the like big, you know, big chunky side. And then the other side is, um, like a fine tip. It's still a felt tip, but it's a lot finer. That is a really pretty almost, um, it's almost an olivey green, but with a little bit more, just a little bit more pizzazz, I would say. Because if you, if you saw it like independent of everything else, I would almost think that's a fall green, but it has like a little, it has a little pep that does, I think, tip, tip it into the springiness. Oh, okay. Gray. Again, I would probably think more fall, but you know what? It's kind of an April showers color. I saw my husband just got home. I heard the garage door open. He is at the gym, or he was at the gym. We found a 24-hour one near us, and he likes to go in the night. Now, this is like a really cute peach. Cute. Ooh, I like that mustard. Oh, I love that, actually. Wow. Again, I don't normally like gravitate towards these kinds of colors, but it has like some kind of little pizzazz in it that, that like brightens it up. Ooh, that is a really interesting blue color. It's almost green. It's like a turquoise. Really pretty. Well, there we have it. I'm so pumped. Woohoo. All right. Well, I'm going to link Archer and Olive down below. Um, I do think this kit is still available if you were interested in it. Um, I am a subscriber, so I, I you know, I get them quarterly. Um, but yeah, oh my gosh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.